Alright guys, so next up is Tesla or ticker symbol TSLA. Like I said, we're always on starting from a higher time frame, that being the daily interval. This allows us to find our support and resistance lines, our entries, our exits, our targets, and all that good stuff, okay? So currently pre-market, we're down almost 8% for the morning, you guys. And then yesterday we closed at nearly 7% as well. So a total of almost 14% within the past two days. Uh, pre-market, we're at 580 and yesterday we were at 629. I told you guys in my previous video yesterday that since we were testing under this resistance area that we came up and got rejected, more than likely we'll be pulling back down to our major support line. And then from there, we will look for an ideal entry, okay? So for our new viewers, let me go ahead and explain to you what these lines represent. This top line is our major resistance line and that can be easily tested. You can see that we came up here, got rejected another time, another time, and another time. At least four times we came up into this area and was either reacting or rejected in this, uh, this resistance, okay? So the last time you can see that we came up and ultimately failed, it pulled us back down to our major support line. This can be tested as well. We look forward, we can see that we bounced also in this area a few times, and then we look left, we have this bounce as well. And then underneath we have it uh, as resistance, you can see that we came up and were, uh, was working as resistance. So both of these are heavily tested areas, and then this middle line is obviously our minor resistance. You can see we have a top here, a top here, and then all these candlesticks underneath here, and then this last one over here, and then above it working as support, we can see that we bounced a few times before breaking under and trying to create a breakout and getting rejected. So let me zoom in really quick. Uh, you can see that we have this basically engulfing candlestick, uh, breaking new lows. We look left. We're breaking all these prior lows. So it's pretty much a given to, uh, to say that we're pulling back down to this major support line. Uh, from there at the uh, $600 level, you guys, that could be a great ideal entry. Uh, we could probably catch a bounce from there. Um, and then from there, we'll see if we can actually hold. And you can clearly see that we are below this trend line. So that also verifies we are in this downtrend. You look on the RSI, we're starting to become a little bit oversold. Look at the pre-market, uh, I'm sorry, the volume. We're at 1.13 million. So that's a lot, uh, usually a lot more than we, what we usually have on Tesla pre-market. So that's, that's always a good thing. Um, but as of right now, getting in would not be the smartest idea. Let's wait for the safest entry. I can even show you on the one hour chart on how uh, much of a downtrend that we are in, you guys. You can see this was previously when we broke underneath it. We broke underneath it. It was trying to create a breakout, break it back above, ultimately failed. You can see that we kind of peekabooed above and then tried this breakout again. And now we're starting this downward trend, okay? So getting in at this moment in time with us being in a clear downward trend would not make any sense, you guys. Um, if we can wait till we can pull back down to the $600 level, that could be a great ideal entry. Have your entry at 600, have your stop loss maybe underneath these candlesticks over here, the wick of the candlestick at 587. So that way, if we do break below this uh, $600 level and we get tagged out, uh, we can wait for a better entry. And then from there, uh, we would have to find our next support line, which um, I won't do until we can, well, it's gonna be here at the 360 or $370 area. Um, that's that's a huge drop you guys so that's why we have to be careful so if we don't hold up on this support line we have a long way back down uh, but I won't get into that as of right now since we're not there yet okay so yes uh, the $600 level could be a great ideal entry just have a tight stop loss um, and then your first target you guys would be back up here at the $700 level um, if you're swing trading or day trading uh, these might these areas of targets might be a little bit different you would just break down to a smaller time frame and maybe so find something more reasonable in your area um, remember you guys we always risk three to one so whatever you are risking your target should be three times that okay um, i like to make these as fast and as efficient as possible and if i did that for you guys please hit that like and subscribe button it allows me to create this content every single morning for you guys monday through friday uh, but other than that i hope you guys have a beautiful day and happy trading